Hello everyone, welcome back to Wii Studio USA. My name is Seth, and today we're talking about the new Justin Lundquist designed Eidolon. This is a really unique, really innovative piece that Justin designed for us. Come in and take a close look at this unique design from Justin Lundquist. Okay guys, we got you in here close, um, and the first thing that you'll probably notice is that we've got two different blade styles available on the Eidolon. Um, over here on this side we've got the dagger point blades, which um, if you're familiar with Justin's designs, you, you, you'll notice right away that they're very similar to a couple of the other knives that he um, produced with us earlier. Uh, the OSS dagger, which is just a, a little guy with a similar style blade, and the angst, which was released last year. So. These two guys, um, these dagger style blades are only sharpened on one side. So it, it comes to a very thin edge um, on the spine of the knife, but that is not um, actually sharpened, which is exactly how you want it so that you can uh, put your hand back there and, and close that knife without cutting yourself there. So. Again, it's only sharpened on one side. I know that some of you guys are going to be very tempted to sharpen that other side as well, uh, but uh, I would definitely not recommend it. You probably will end up cutting yourself. Um, one of the cool things that I like about this knife is that it, it almost doesn't look like a knife. Um, it's a very classy, sleek design. Um, Justin did an amazing job of creating this piece that is just all beautifully uh, put together. It's an integral G10 handle. Okay, there is no seam here. This is all one piece of G10. Um, and then there is one version that is a beautiful carbon fiber. And this is a, only available in the drop point right now. But again, it's an integral carbon fiber handle. Just a really unique piece of engineering here. Um, I was asking Justin um, through a, a uh, Instagram conversation how in the world you disassemble this thing and how you get the pocket clip out and that. And he just told me it's magic. So basically, this thing is uh, put together with and held together with magic. So uh, don't even attempt it. Um, <laughs> it can be taken apart, although it is a little bit more complicated than most of your um, folding knives, and it is not recommended by the manufacturer as it will void warranty. So, um, looking at the, um, the top of the knife, um, if we want to call it the top, anyway, um, we've got the jimping on the flipper portion right there, which comes straight out the front of the knife. So this is a, a top flipper. Um, with a really good action, and it is a liner lock. You can see that that liner is only on one side of the knife, shaving weight down, and uh, again, just uh, adding to the, the sleek beauty and style of this knife. Um, looking at the specifications here, on the carbon fiber version, you've got a weight of 1.98 ounces, and on the other G10 versions, they are 2.18 ounces. The blade length is 2.86 inches, and the overall length is 6.58 inches. Blade thickness is 0.13 inches, and the handle thickness is 0.55 inches. When it's closed, it's got a closed length of 3.78 inches. We've got black G10, gray G10, and carbon fiber in the drop point. And in the dagger blade, we've got gray G10 and black G10. Now, this black G10 looks really nice um, with that texturing in it. Um, talking about this, top, this pocket clip again, you can see that it's recessed into the handle there. Um, we'll probably have to show you that on some, uh, some close-up studio shots, but it's gonna be extremely sleek and easy on your pocket. The screws and the clip itself are sunk into the handle there. Um, it kinda comes out the back, giving it a really super sleek look. The blade material on all of these knives is going to be CPM 20 CV. Um, we've got a titanium pocket clip and stainless steel liners and screws. 
you can see that on the drop point version, there's a really nice, well done hollow ground blade with a stone washed finish. Okay, so really you guys need to get one of these things in your hands to get a, an appreciation for what it, what it looks like. Um, Justin did an amazing job on this knife. I love the design. Um, we executed it perfectly. The action is incredible. Um, the styling is sleek and beautiful. All right guys, thanks for sticking with us today and watching this video on the new Justin Lundquist design Eidolon. Um, get this one in your hands. Again, it's another one of those wee knives that you have to feel to truly appreciate. Um, the action on this thing is super fun and addictive. Um, being able to use it as that top flipper, um, using the, the index flipper um, with that piece of of flipper tab that is just barely sticking out the top. You're really gonna like this knife. Gotta make sure we hit the price on this, this uh, unique integral design from Justin Lundquist. And um, we've got the two um, different versions are gonna be a little bit different in price between the G10 and the carbon fiber. You'll be able to pick up the G10 version for less than $200. Comes in at a, a map price of 195 with the MSRP at 230. Now the Carbon fiber version is just a little bit more. It's got an MSRP of 279, and you'll be able, be able to pick this one up at a map price from dealers at right around $230. So a fantastic deal on this unique, innovative, integral design from Justin Lundquist. Um, let's give one of them away. Um, I haven't given away a Wii knife for a couple of videos, I think. Uh, so anyway, um, let's give away one of these knives from Justin. Um, leave us a comment. Tell us what you think about his design here. And uh, every comment that is placed on this video will be entered to win. And we'll go ahead and choose a winner on August 10th from the comments. We will come back to this video and leave the announcement in the description and we'll also reply to the comment of the winner. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure you watch our other videos. We are also releasing one um, right along with this one on the um, Ray Laconico designed Esprit. And over on the Civivi YouTube channel, we've got a couple of new um, videos up there as well. So make sure you tune into those and we will catch you next time. Mm -hmm.